Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and today we're going to be talking about what's going on in Washington, D.C. I apologize for the breeze. It's a little breezy here in Florida today. Sun shining and it's 80 some odd degrees, but let's get back on top of You know, what's going on in Washington today, I was watching when they just did their vote just a little while ago, uh, their two o'clock vote, and uh, quite painful. These people are just amazing. And, um, you know, obviously the Republicans and the Democrats, uh, either side can come to an agreement. Uh, they all want something special in this little bill that they have. Um, you know, they want to, you know, just try to fill it full of uh, more pork and sausage, if you want to call it. This is what I think they should have done, because they've done this all wrong. There should have been four bills. And in those bills, the first bill they should have passed was a bill for the American people to take care of them as, you know, fast as possible. You got people out here that have been put out of work by no fault of their own, and uh, they're struggling. You know, these people are struggling. You see it on the news. Um, you know, they don't know where they're gonna get money to feed their kids or uh, pay their rent or, you know, put some gas in their car so they can maybe try to find another job if, you know, there are some places that are hiring. Very few, but there are some places. You know, you gotta be able to get there. So, you know, they should have took care of the American public first and that should have been a very easy bill for them to do and pass and the president, you know, could assign that one, two, three, and hopefully the money could be coming a lot sooner than what it looks like it's going to be coming. Uh, number two, at that point, once the American people are taken care of, uh, you want to sit down and you want to start working out something to help out all these small businesses. Small businesses is the backbone of this country. That is what makes this country so great. It's not the large corporations. It's the small business. If you took small business out, this country would be nothing. You know, all your mom and pop stores and everything else and all your little towns and everything, those are all small businesses, you know. Um, but then they should have hashed that one out. And that should have been pretty well easy to take care of. Number three, they should have worked on a bill to um, help come up with the uh, money to fund, you know, for a virus. Um, money for uh, the hospitals, the emergency equipment that is needed out there for, you know, all different places, nursing homes, hospitals, uh, paramedics, any type of emergency personnel that needs and that is crying on the TV for from all these different states, <clears throat> you know, they should have worked on that. And one would think that that would be a pretty relatively easy bill to pass. And, you know, up to this point, we don't put any pork and sausage in there to try to make it a little better or, you know, anything worse. Number four, which I have a hard one to deal with, uh, is to take care of all these big businesses. You know, all these multi-billion dollar companies that are crying the blues because they're losing money and everything else. You know, well, they're not the only ones. You know, they want to fork out billions and billions and well half of the two point the two trillion dollars that they want to approve here you know half of that is going to go to these big businesses you know um, which I think is a total disgrace you know we bailed them out in 9-11 we bailed them out in 2008 when we had the recession all these banks and everything to give all these loans to anybody that could breathe and sign a piece of paper you know they created their own problem they made their bed, let them sleep in it. That's just my opinion. Anybody else has got a comment, you can put it down below. Um, but that's where we stand, you know. Now if you're looking for your unemployment checks, um, depending on your state and how many people have filed and everything else, you have to figure the system is going to get flooded. They're talking, what, two, three hundred thousand, you know, uh, people filing for unemployment. Uh, the unemployment rate uh, from what they are saying is going to be anywhere between 20 and 30 percent. We're talking Great Depression numbers here. You know, uh, it's just a disgrace. You know, if they would take care of the American people first and then work on, you know, all the other package deals individually, you know, maybe we could have got something done a lot faster than what's going on. Um, 
But back to your unemployment, you know, if you did file, you are probably going to have to wait your 10 to 20 days before you get your first check, whatever your state is on, you know, um, your waiting period. Uh, so plan on that. I've already seen people posting about that, that, you know, they have to wait. You know, when you're dealing with the government or the states and it comes to them giving you money, no matter what the circumstance is, how bad it is, a pandemic, a hurricane, earthquake, or whatever, you know, natural disaster, you know, they drag their feet on it. <clears throat> and we all know it. It's all in the history books on the news, you know. Uh, do your research. You can find out anything you want. Just go online. And, you know, one big thing that we have to remember is, is we all have to stick together. So if you have to take care of your family or friends, um, you do what you got to do. You know, you got to try to work together, um, help each other out, because at this point right now, you're not really getting a lot from the government, the states, or anything else. Um, yeah, they're locking states down and everything else here in Florida. I don't know what is up with our governor. You know, we're so far behind on testing. As of just the other day, they only tested 9,000 people out of 22 million plus. And, um, you know, cases are just doubling up like crazy. And now the president is saying that he wants to try to end his 15 day, you know, your, your, uh, where you're supposed to stay away from everybody and your, your self, you know, uh, distancing. And, you know, he wants to end that, uh, you know, looking to end that soon during this 15 day period, which is just asinine. I mean, you're just basically opening the doors and say, we're going to have a mass pandemic. And maybe that's the government's plan because then it's less money they have to pay out. I don't know. Put your comments down below. Let me know. So on that note, I want everybody to stay safe out there. Uh, keep your eyes open. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. And if you can't find it on the news, uh, just go on the Internet. You can find out a lot. You know, the World Health Organization has already listed this as uh, this pandemic is just escalating at a very high rate. Um, I think all countries should just shut down for a period of time and try to quarantine this thing off to who has it and who don't and and take it from there. But my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.